Hello and welcome to Bossover TV. Here are the headlines. A wildlife garden at Hodthorpe Primary School has received a makeover. I have a go at some martial arts and tricking at the Area 51 Academy in Bolsover. Colourful crests have appeared throughout the parish of Blackwell as part of a community-led creative project. The high street in Tipshelf is set to see a significant change as three blocks of council-owned flats are set to be demolished and a new award scheme is being launched to help recognise the good and kindness of people in our communities. But first, a £36 million scheme that will breathe new life into the local economy has started. Bolsover Homes aims to deliver up to 400 new homes over the next four years. This ambitious project will see good quality, long-lasting council housing built to high sustainability standards and will help keep bills low for tenants, reducing the carbon footprint of the district. One of the key aims of the programme is to invest in the local area by spending locally. And it's proposed that 80% of subcontractors will be sourced from within a 20 mile radius of the site. We went along to the launch event in Whitwell and spoke to those involved. So the weather's pretty miserable, but the news that we're talking about is a lot more uplifting. I'm not going to be the one telling you about it, though. I've got local councillor Sandra Peake alongside me. Sandra, if I can just bring you in and just ask you to explain why we're here today and, and why it's such an exciting day. It is an exciting day because it's the first site where we're going to start, Bowles Over Homes are going to start building 400 homes uh, across the district. Um, this site is the first in Whitwell. So great that it's going to be built here and we can see it sort of come together, but also great for local contractors as well because it's good news for them as well. It is good news, yeah, because we use 80% of local workforce and it, we have done that in other areas. So that's, that's great for the local uh, community. Now, of course, these houses wouldn't be built without a contractor. I'm joined by the project manager, David Pearson. David, how excited are you and your company to be involved in this project? Well, I'm really excited. This is actually the second phase for me. I've been involved with building houses for Balls Over District Council for over four, four years now in, in the first framework. So this is really exciting to be awarded the second framework. Um, and it's a testament to the good work that we, we previously did. So, yeah, we're here today to, to mark the first of hopefully over 400 new homes, um, and in four years time, we'll be back again celebrating finishing 400, I hope. 400 seems a lot, but I'm sure four years you'll get it all done. I'm not doing it all myself. There's a, a big team behind me, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it done. We're delighted in Whitwell that we are the first area on this tranche of houses to be the ones that are gonna be first built. So there are those here, there are those at Doles Lane, there are some over the way at Bakeston Moor and there are several more within the local community. We've got a good waiting list within Whitwell itself for council houses so there's great excitement in the community and across the whole district for this exciting project. And when you sum it up like that it's a, it's a huge project a, a, but a great project to be a part of. It's a massive project we've invested over 30 million pound in it and we're very proud to be working on this and setting an example for all district councils across the whole country. It can be done, let's get on and build social housing. Social housing is the future of housing shortages in the country. There you go, you heard it here first. Watch this space, this place is about to change over the next few years. Tom, thank you. Thank you. So we've come down to Newton to take a look at some very creative and colorful crests that have appeared throughout the parish of Blackwell. Since June, local residents from Blackwell, Hillcote, Newton and West Houses have all been busy transforming their local area as part of a community-led Greater Creative project with the pottery in Alfreton. The Create a Crest project saw local residents use soft clay tiles that, that could create their own house crest. 400 tiles were produced, over 300 have been returned and are now displayed across the villages to commemorate community spirit. I'm delighted to say that I've been joined by Tony first of all. Tony, I'll bring you in. Tony's had a big hand in this. Tell us how you've been involved and how proud you must be to see these across the village. I think they're fantastic. It's been a fantastic response uh, from uh, the whole of the village. Basically, my job has been to receive the tiles from the pottery, the basic clay uh, tiles, and to advertise that we've got them and to distribute them to anyone that's interested. And a lot of, a lot of families have been involved, but actually, 
it's gone all through the age groups from, you know, tiny tots to people even older than me. So yeah, it's been a great success. When you thought about this, when the lockdown happened and, and you were thinking about other ideas of how you would bring it together, did you ever expect a response of 400 people? No, not at all. I think it was just, well, I think everyone was just knocked out by the whole idea. It was, uh, it was brilliant. The final result, I think, was much better than we could have hoped for. It was just uh, mind bending. I bring in Dave and Nick from The Pottery. Tell us about your involvement because you've had just a bigger part to play in this as well. Dave, we'll come to you first. Tell us about how you brought this together. Well, initially uh, we were given the tiles, given the project, and we had to cut the clay, roll out the clay, cut it all to size to make the tiles. So that was quite labor intensive. And then uh, we did the instructions, produce the instructions so we could send that out to people. And then we just let them roll with it. Very proud to be involved. We're, it was great that we were asked to join in with this. It came at a really poignant time, really. Um, as everyone was feeling really isolated, it was a really good inclusive thing to bring families together and just to show something of what, how they were feeling. I have to ask about the level of ability that we are seeing on show. Were you surprised at that? We've seen some amazing things. We've come up with so many different ideas and you can see the general, all the little family things and little family traits. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll agree there are some excellent crests on display, but it doesn't stop there because over the next three years, thanks to funding from the Creative Civic Change, Greater Creative are working towards making Blackwell Parish a community-led and proud parish that proactively commemorates and celebrates its people and places. So watch this space for even more exciting events that the whole parish can enjoy. Children from Hodthorpe Primary School have been busy putting the finishing touches to their refurbished wildlife pond. Situated in the school grounds, the pond was set up over 20 years ago and won an award. But over time, the area had become overgrown and neglected and the pond wasn't holding water. Now, thanks to funding from La Hoist and work undertaken by Planteria Landscape Services, the pond has been relined and the wildlife garden has been reinstated with a small meadow and planting features. On the 14th of October, the school children planted new plants around the pond and officially opened the site so children, teachers and parents can enjoy the wildlife garden. Local Barbara councillors David and Maxine Dixon have donated a defibrillator in memory of Tom Henson, who tragically died in 2018, aged 23, of a cardiac arrest while playing football. Situated at the De Rhodes Public House in the village, the installation was donated by Carmel UK Limited and is part of the Tom Henson Charities Drive to raise awareness of the location of and the use of defibrillators to help save lives. This is something that we, we said that we would, uh, we would provide something for the community when, uh, when we came uh, onto Bolsover Council last year. So, yeah, we've, uh, we're glad we finally got there. Thanks to... Uh, the uh, De Rhodes pub uh, for allowing it to be installed on their wall and, and Carmel uh, which is a barber based company we need to thank them for, for doing the installation this should have been installed back in March but obviously it's been delayed because of Covid I'd like to thank Maxine and David for uh, very generously uh, putting up the funds for this defib um, defibs are a vital piece of equipment for someone suffering a cardiac arrest. Um, it's very difficult without a uh, defibrillator for people to survive a cardiac arrest. Time is very critical, so the more defibs you can get out into the public, the better the situation is for potential survivability. The high street of Tipshelf is set to see a significant change. Three blocks of council-owned flats situated between the village hall and the nursery and infant school are due to be demolished. The flats, which are in low demand, have been the subject of significant ongoing concerns and high levels of antisocial behaviour. Once demolished, the ground will be temporarily laid to grass until it is known whether this will form part of the wider plans to build a new primary school for the village. If not, the land will be used to build better homes for local people through the council's Bolsover Homes programme. Local district and parish councillor for Tibshelf, councillor Deborah Watson said, the council is working through a stock review and is dealing with a number of sites which hold substandard properties. 
We have identified several sites across the district, including in Blackwell, Whitwell, Tipshelf and Shirebrook, where we intend to replace poor quality stock with modern, high quality, high specification properties for people wanting to live in social housing within Bolsover district. We believe our residents deserve to live in high quality homes and the high street flat properties fall well below this standard. We build properties to a higher standard than private sale properties by ensuring they conform to the future home standard, exceed the minimum space standards, are secure by design and are energy efficient. The tip shelf site is a strategically important one in the heart of the village. It is important that any future use benefits and complements the wider strategic ambition of the parish, district and county council. With that in mind, the district will ensure that the future development of the site is in keeping with the location and fits into the strategic ambitions for the area. When the team here at Bolsover TV told me I was going to Area 51, I thought, great, a covert trip overseas to infiltrate the secret Nevada base in the USA. Instead, I'm here in Bolsover at the Area 51 Martial Arts and Tricking Academy. Now, I have to admit, I was slightly disappointed that we're not going abroad, but listening to the noises coming out of the building behind me, it sounds like a very intriguing place with plenty going on. So let's go and see what they do. So we're down at Area 51. I've got Jess, one of the directors with us. Jess, first of all, there's a lot of activity going on behind me. Yep. Tell us all about this, which is a very generic way to start, but for the neutral, for people who don't know what this is going on behind me, can you sum it up? Yeah, of course I can. All right, so um, this is uh, some of the disciplines that we teach down here at Area 51. So this is part of our competition team. Uh, there are 15 in total. We've got some little ones as well. Um, but these guys, they are doing a mixture of some weapon work uh, and also some tricking as well. The tricking um, is quite an up and coming sport. Um, so it's a mix between sort of like free running, gymnastics, parkour uh, and your martial arts. A lot of people that I've taught that have never done tricking, that have done a couple of sessions, been like, oh, I really find that I can express my, myself through the tricks. Yeah, so once you've got the gist of the basics, it's sort of like cooking chicken. You, sort of, you can add in, add in your flavours and, and, and go wild, or you can keep it plain. And how's your cooking chicken? How's your tricking? My chicken's it's all right. It's got, got a couple of flavours. It's good. <laughs> yeah, so we offer classes from four years upwards. Um, we don't necessarily start on with like the tricking stuff and the weapon stuff straight away. We have a little ninja class and that's where we build on the, fundamental, uh, the fundamentals. So we'll, we'll work on drills for the balance, uh, focus, coordination, uh, discipline, respect and things like that. Area 51 does martial arts. Um, there's a lot of other things as well for the kids. Gives them something to do outside of school and something a little bit more unique than your typical sports such as football and, and things like that. It brings, brings them together in a different sort of way. They can sort of be competitive on a friendly level and it gives them masses of opportunities. You really sense that from walking in that it's already quite a niche thing but there's quite a community feel there. Is that, is that fair? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of people that come to the club as, as new students or uh, as parents say, oh, we've, we've got that community feeling just by coming in. It's, it's a nice welcoming atmosphere. So yeah, it's, it's good. And finally, 2020 has been a strange year, but it's brought out the good and kindness in people and their communities. To help celebrate this, the council is organising a community award scheme to recognise anyone that's made a significant contribution to help local communities across Bolsover District. Nominations are open and are being encouraged for people or organisations who've helped a neighbour raise funds for an organisation or who are always there for others. Council Chairman, Councillor Tom Munro, told us a bit more about the awards. Over the last year, we've all had to go that little bit extra mile to try to deal with the challenges that have arisen, not just through COVID-19, but generally the challenges that have arisen in the last 12 months. So, like other civic leaders who I got together with about two or three weeks ago, we decided it would be really nice to try to have a scheme of awards that could possibly feed into a county-wide scheme. So we're looking for nominations from, for organisations and or people who have gone that little bit extra to help out their communities or to help out individuals. 
we thought, what a good opportunity to bring communities together to think, how can we celebrate what people have done to make everybody's life better in these very difficult times? What we are hoping to be able to do is to award everybody a certificate. And in addition, we're inviting people who are successful to nominate a charity of their choice. And we would like to nominate 20 pound to the charity of their choice. Well, that's it. That's all we've got time for. And we hope you've enjoyed watching. And I look forward to seeing you soon on Ballsaver TV. Goodbye.